guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing this video because basically I did a massive Amazon haul a couple of weeks ago, week ago, can't remember, and I tried on a pair of jeans, I got lots of questions about the jeans and I thought what would be really cool, I feel like I'm talking really fast, is to do a kind of jeans try on haul from Amazon. And I actually tried for the first time, this is another question that I got, was have I tried Amazon Prime wardrobe? So I've ordered five things, four of the things were on Prime wardrobe, one of them was not. And Prime wardrobe is actually friggin' awesome. You basically get the clothes delivered, you have to have like a minimum order, I think you have to have at least four items. Not all of the items are available on Prime Wardrobe, so you have to select ones from Prime Wardrobe. But basically you order them, they arrive the next day, you do not pay anything and you have seven days to decide if you want to keep them or not and you can return them for free if you don't want them without actually paying anything and you will only pay if you decide to keep it. I think it's an amazing idea because I am a sucker for spending so much money on online shopping and it's yeah, it really sucks to have all of the money taken out of your account, even though you may be returning all of it or half of it, whatever. So I think it's a great idea. And so far I'm really impressed, but I'm gonna show you these jeans first, which weren't on Prime Wardrobe, um, but then all the other ones are. And I've tried to choose a few different kind of styles and stuff. So yeah. Okay, so first pair of jeans, like I said, weren't on Prime Wardrobe, but were on Prime, so came the next day, are uh, these kind of mid-rise, ripped up, turned up bottom jeans. And I've got to say, I actually really love these. The only thing that I'm a little bit about is that normally I like to have high-waisted. These aren't high-waisted. And I feel like I'm having to hoist them up a little bit but obviously that just completely depends what you kind of like I just think they'll be a bit more flattering if they were a, a tad higher but these are so nice and comfortable the material's really stretchy I love that you have these rips but you don't actually see your skin if that makes sense a lot of the ripped stuff that I have is massive kind of rips and it's nice to have a little bit of distressing but especially in autumn and winter you get really friggin cold if you have holes in your jeans so this is a good kind of crossover and I do really love this tone of jean as well I think it's really nice I got these in a size 18 I'd say they fit really well and they actually fit me well all the way down my leg which is nice because they don't always do that um yeah Oh, do you see what I mean? Like I'm just kind of a little bit conscious that they're a bit low on my butt. It's just not the most kind of flattering length for me. But having said that, this is a really good um, style of jean if you want to tuck stuff in. So if you have stuff and you just want to tuck it in a little bit and wear it with a belt, this is a really great cut of jean. Whereas if you wear high-waisted ones, Sometimes if you tuck stuff in, it can look a little bit like you just, yeah, a little bit much. So this is a really good um, cut, but I personally just wear them with a belt. I think that would, that would be fine. So these bad boys, uh, like I said, got them in an 18, I'd say size is absolutely fine. And they were 25 pounds on Prime which is amazing. I went shopping the other day, looked at some of the Topshop jeans, and they were 45 or 50 quid. I saw a pair of mum jeans, which were like 55 pounds, and I actually couldn't believe it. So 25 quid, I think, is a really good price for jeans. Like I've said before, Amazon prices do kind of vary between different colours, different sizes, which is a bit odd. So, for example, a size 10 in these is only 23 pounds. Um, yeah, like a 12 to 14 is 24 and then a 16, 18 is 25. So there is a little bit of variation in price there, but 
overall, I'd say £25 is really, really good, especially for the quality of these. They are really good quality, nice and stretchy, nice and comfortable, perfect everyday jeans. And like I said, I'd probably wear it with like a nice belt, tuck in like a little sweater or a t-shirt, whatever, wear it with some boots or even just like really nice little sneakers, something like that. Just perfect, goes with everything. So everyone needs a pair of plain black jeans in their wardrobe. These are the most comfortable jeans I have tried on in my life. So these are actually jeggings, but they're not those annoying kind of like ones where you have to try and pull them up over your ass. You've got proper kind of button zip closure. One thing is I personally don't think they're jeggings because to me that's like jean leggings whereas these are more like treggings because they're not like a fake jean material they're more of a kind of um like a jersey material but like a thick jersey so i don't even know if jersey is the right material but they don't look like denim so you could actually wear these to work pretty easily because they're not that jeans material they've got an ever ever so slightly kind of shine to them and yeah really nice high waisted and what i love is that with a lot of jeggings you firstly they're elasticated bands and you've got a big ass trying to squeeze it over your bum is such a pain but loads of them don't actually have belt loops which i've noticed they don't have pockets they don't have belt loops I like to, when I buy clothes, have the option to wear a belt with it. So if you buy a pair of jeggings and it doesn't have a belt loop, you can't really wear a belt with them. So these are so comfortable. The only thing is, I don't know if it's obvious, around here is a little loose on me. So these are a size 18. I'd say they fit perfectly, but I've got like a little bit of excess just here. Um, so... I might, I'd probably suggest sizing down in these because they're stretchy. You know, if you size down, they'd still fit, but it'd mean that I wouldn't have that kind of excess material here. Yeah, really comfortable. I'd say they are ever so slightly long as well. So obviously you can see where they come up on me, but I'm 5'7". So it depends what kind of length you are, but obviously if you're shorter than 5'7", I'd say they're gonna to be too long. Um, but yeah, like I said, quality is really nice and they are so comfortable. Like, oh, it's basically if you're someone who just likes to live in leggings, like me, but kind of want to look more presentable, I always find that where I just want to chuck on a pair of leggings, but all of my leggings are sports leggings, so I can't wear them with a pair of boots or something like that. It would just look weird. So these are an amazing option. Um, yeah, to be super comfortable, but dress up a little bit. So like I said, got it in a 18, which is a double XL. And these are 25 pounds, not the cheapest for jeggings, but they are by far the best jeggings I've ever tried on, hands down. Okay, so I wanted to find the perfect kind of autumnal dark wash jeans, the kind of jeans that would look great with everything and I have found them. These fit me like a friggin' glove. These are so comfortable. So they're, um, they're quite a thick jean material, so they're stretchy, but when I first got them out, they were really kind of thick and I thought, oh, I don't know if these are gonna fit, but they have so much stretch. I love a stretchy jean. I think they're so much more comfortable, they fit so much better but sometimes they can be quite thin and the thin stretchy ones will wear through so quickly. If you wear jeans a lot like me, you're just gonna wear through them in no time. So these, a lot thicker, gonna last a lot longer. And yeah, I just honestly think these fit me like exactly how I would want them. They're really nice and high waisted. Don't feel like my ass is gonna fall out. They've got lots of stretch in them, really, really comfy. And I love this wash as well. I, yeah, this is just like a, to me, a perfect kind of autumnal wash. 
a really nice kind of deep blue. They come in enough at the top here because that's something I struggle with sometimes is having a little bit too much room at the top there, but these are surprisingly really nicely fitted for curves. So yeah, in love with those, got nice belt loops. So far, these are 100% my favorite. And lengthwise, like I said, I'm 5'7". This is where I personally like my jeans to stop, kind of just above my ankle bone, because I think then when you wear them with trainers, they're still gonna look good. Then there's not gonna be too much kind of like bunching around your knees and stuff, but they'll still look great with boots to tuck in. They're not too short. Yeah, absolutely love these. Look at that stretch. Oh God, they're so comfortable. Right. And these are on Prime Wardrobe as well. So I've not even paid for them yet. Um, so these come in different colors as well. This is the mid wash blue. They do another darker blue and they do a white as well. These are an Amazon own brand. So I've spoken about this before. Amazon have their own kind of labels and this one's called Find. So that's um, one of Amazon's own. And yeah, got them in an 18, perfect sizing, 29 pounds, 29 pounds. And I honestly don't think Topshop jeans, I always compare like any jeans to Topshop jeans. I don't think these are any different to Topshop jeans, to be perfectly honest. And you were saving so much money. I don't think like, I mean, I want other people to try these and tell me if I'm just being a bit too like pro Amazon, but I honestly think the quality of these is friggin' amazing. Okay, these ones I'm gonna show you now are Dorothy Perkins. That's one thing I love about Amazon is that you have Amazon owned brands which are exclusive to Amazon, you have brands that you wouldn't have heard of, and then you kind of have designer brands and high street brands as well. So the options are massive. These ones, <laughs> okay, I bought loads of stuff from Dorothy Perkins the other day and I was ranting and raving about how much I liked them and the sizing was really good. These are Dorothy Perkins and they're not very well sized. So, oh my God, I had to wiggle my way into these and they are cutting off the circulation to everything. Um, but I like them because they're a bit different. So. These are a kind of camo pant style jean. I wanted to show you guys something a little bit different. It doesn't always have to be black, blue, gray jeans. Um, I love this kind of khaki color. I think that's great for autumn as well. It has these little pockets on the side here. There's a very sort of like military style. Pockets on the back are fake and they're not, <laughs> ignore my underwear please. They're like those little kind of slit ones. I personally think if you've got a bigger bum, those are really unflattering to have tiny little pockets like that. I like to have a proper pocket on the bum. And also I do put my phone in my back pocket a lot, so it's kind of irritating. But, oh my God, these are so tight. I don't think they're even like hoisted up enough. So I got them in an 18. These come up so friggin' small, so friggin' small. And like the pockets are digging into my legs. There's not as much stretch in them as basically any of the other stuff that I've tried on today. Um, so I like the design, I like the style. They are like quite high waisted, but they're just too small, they're too tight. So I got these in 18, like I said, brig and tiny. Um, and these are 26 pounds. So I don't think 26 pounds is a bad price. The quality of these is okay, definitely not up there on my list of other stuff I've tried on. Um, yeah, just size up, just size up because these come up so friggin' small. I even had to check the label to see if it was like a misprint because loads of the stuff that I tried on for Dorothy Perkins the other day came up like either perfect or even a slightly bit too big. So I'm not sure what's happening here. Seems to be a bit inconsistent sizing. Okay, last up, not a pair of jeans, but this is from the New Look denim section. So 
I feel like I can get away with putting it in this video. This is the boiler suit of my dreams. I friggin love this. So it's a kind of really, really thin denim material from New Look, like I said. This is so nice and comfortable. So you've got this kind of massive zip going out the front, zip detailing here. I love that you have the option to ruche it in more or less on the sides there. It's all gathered in at the back. So anyone with curves, this is gonna be super flattering. Oh, this is, this is so comfortable. You've got turn ups at the bottom, but I think lengthwise, this is perfect. Yeah, this is great. This is nice and stretchy. This, oh, this is so comfortable. I'm really surprised by like how much I do like this because I'm normally a bit mm, give or take with jumpsuits. But again, I think this is really nice for autumn. You could wear it with a pair of boots and a leather jacket would look really, really nice. I love that kind of utility style. Yeah, so nice. It's just a really nice like chuck on piece to wear. I got this in an 18. Size wise, I think that is absolutely perfect. I love that it's got this elasticated ruching at the back because that's where I struggle a lot is having to size up from my bum and then at the top having loads of excess material. But obviously if it's ruched in, you've still got that kind of shape. It's still kind of bringing you in a lot. So in love with that. Size 18, which is perfect. Yeah, this is from New Look as well. Like I said before, I love that you have the option on Amazon to still shop from high street stores as well. And this was, oh my gosh, this was 30 pounds. 30 pounds for a denim jumpsuit is friggin' awesome pricing. I have tried on denim jumpsuits from Topshop before. They've been a lot more. I think I got one in the sale for about 40 pounds once. But what I love about this is that denim jumpsuits I've tried on before have been quite thick and they're not as comfortable. But this is a really, really thin denim material. So it makes it more of a kind of everyday wearable piece. Yeah, I love it. Right guys, that is everything from me. I am literally sweating up a storm right now. It is so freaking hot in here with the sun being like changing clothes. <sighs> but I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Like I said before, tried out Prime Wardrobe for the first time, massively rate it, and I'm a little bit annoyed that I haven't used it before. I don't know why I haven't. And just um, to talk you guys through, so basically it comes in a reusable bag like you would get from most kind of high street brands if you were to order online. It comes in a reusable bag, you don't pay anything, you try everything on, you've got seven days to make a decision and then you send it back in the reusable bag. It has a label pre-printed in there so you don't have to worry about any of that and you just drop it off at the post office. So really, really nice and simple, really easy, returns are free, it comes the next day for free if you have a Prime account obviously. But yeah, I think it's a great idea and I've got some really nice stuff. I think my favourites are definitely this jumpsuit and those um, dark blue jeans I tried on the third ones. Definitely in love with those really nice autumnal jeans. But yeah, size and fit, I think everything's been pretty much spot on apart from those Dorothy Perkins ones. But it just goes to show that Amazon is actually really great for clothes. I always like rant and rave about how much I love them. But you can get so much amazing stuff for so cheap on there and just to have it done, like delivered the next day is amazing. So I am still a huge fan of Amazon. It is definitely actually one of my go-to places to get clothes from. But yeah, anyway, I hope this has been helpful or interesting in some sort of way. If you guys have enjoyed it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. And if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys next time. Thank you.